G'day there everyone, uh, it is quarter past three, nearly quarter past three on the 26th, and I thought I'd come out and do an update on this um, charging battery in the shade, and it does appear to be working. I should note in the last video I accidentally wrote 12.097 uh, there when I should have written 12.087, okay so, and we did, I've got some stars marked here because I did do a, um, fill up a cap and discharge it in the video and I also did do a tiny bit of charging with the panel in the sun for I don't know a minute or so so those two results aren't exactly spot on but it gives us in the ballpark I came out again just after 1.30 and I got 12.095 so we are going up the other thing I did notice was that it dropped off 2 millivolts in a few seconds while I had the multimeter on there so you definitely can't leave the multimeter hooked up okay so Let's see what we've got. Moment of truth. Twelve point zero nine five, twelve point zero nine four. And that's holding steady. I dropped twelve point zero nine three eh? nine three before. I didn't leave the multimeter on for much longer than that. Oh and back up again. I'm going to call that 12.095 again. So there we go. Add a new note. And I'm just going to check. It certainly put some charge in though. And like I said, I was at... Even after the cap discharges and stuff, I was at 12.092. Right, and this battery hasn't had a load drawn from it in 24 hours or so. So it certainly was a standing voltage to start with. And my panel's just over there, sitting under the coffee table in the shade. The light is getting dimmer and dimmer in here too. Um, I should have done some lux measurements earlier. I have a lux maybe here. It was certainly brighter earlier this morning. Right now we've got, I hold it up this way, not a lot of lux. 160 to 200. I'll put it over here next to my panel. Mm, my panel's probably pulling in about 230 lux, which is not much. To be able to do anything from that amount of brightness on a panel is pretty impressive, I reckon, let alone charge a 12 volt battery. Now I'm going to take that off there now because it is most certainly flattening my battery, I'm taking away the tiny bit of trickle charge that I've managed to put in. Now, obviously, you're not going to charge your car battery with this when it's flat, but it will stop it from going flat if you left it plugged in, which is really what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to hook it up to my cap. I'm just going to verify that we are actually charging that cap up enough to provide some current. Okay, and that is certainly charging. I have a feeling that a charge and then discharge, charge the cap and then discharge dump into the battery circuit would probably work better. But hey, this works. I've got proof of concept. I can now go on and develop it further. It's certainly worth investing some time and possibly even a very small investment into. Might go down the wreckers and buy some old stuff batteries. Uh, we've shown that that's charging. Let's stick it back on. It's dumping that cap back into the battery quite nicely there. So what did we get? Did it go up or did it go down? I don't think it would have gone down somehow. Yeah, get in there. It's going down. But it's mostly my multimeter, I'm pretty sure. I might do one more reading by around 5 o'clock this afternoon. 
Uh, let's see what we've got then. I'll certainly be disconnecting it overnight because I'm not confident that I've got enough diode protection here to stop it from discharging into my little cap overnight. Certainly more research and development is required for this one. But I think from what we've seen here we can see that it's well worth doing the um, experiments. Okay, thanks for watching.